Hello, my uh, smoking, pipe smoking friends, YouTubers, subscribers. Um, I'm sitting here in my garden today uh, on this uh, wonderful resurrection day uh, where we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that's why I chose my church warden, Stanwell Church Warden, with, uh, with a perfect, perfect, perfect pack. We should give badges, you know, like uh, the forum badges for reaching certain uh, milestones. We should give uh, badges for, for for obtaining a perfect pack in a perfect light, like this one. But um, the any background, my daughter is playing uh, the piano, um, so you might hear that. Um, today. As I said, coming from my garden, not my stoop, uh, my stoop is occupied by the rest of my family and I just uh, thought I'd, I'd come and, and have a quick, uh, quiet time here in my garden, um, celebrating the fact that Jesus rose from the dead uh, and for me that means everything. That is the spill around uh, the crux of the matter to, to say that because if you are still dead, then there's nothing. Um, but the fact that he lives, to me at least, means that um, we can live a uh, a life uh, a conquering with a conquering perspective on on life. Um, so yeah, and uh, enjoying a Rustenberg uh, Shiraz 2009 with my church warden. What I want to share to you with you today is. Um, is my what I've learned the past few days and, and week or so about uh, blending and tobacco. Well, as I said, I did some research and uh, and I found some interesting th things. Things that you might know already a long time, and things that might be wrong. So please correct me if I'm wrong with, with uh, some of my findings. Um, the first one is the type of tobacco is Virginia. Virginia, a very popular pipe tobacco and cigarette tobacco, uh, used probably in most of the tobacco blends uh, and, and bases. Um, a very mild, mild tobacco, high uh, sugar content, um, which is obviously part of the nice taste that it, that it provides. You get different Virginias, uh, red, black, orange, orange, red. I saw a few seeds and leaves that I can buy uh, of the different types that you get. Um, and then... Um, Then the Burleys. The Burley tobacco, also a very popular tobacco because it, it gives, uh, it's got no sugar or almost no sugar in, and it gives a much more uh, drier and fuller aroma to, uh, to, to the tobacco when you blend it with, with Virginia. Uh, and also mostly used in aromatic blends. Um, it's a cool smoke and uh, burns slowly. And as far as I could uh, gather, Burley has got a very nutty, nutty character to it, which uh, which I personally like a lot. Um, and then Oriental tobacco. Thus, uh, there's many tobacco that uh, that were grown and, and distributed from the Turkey and Russia and the, the uh, Middle East and those areas, for example, Latakia. Natakia originated from the Middle East, uh, from Syria, where it got uh, the very smoky, smoky character be being uh, air-dried in, in their homes, uh, and then they, they make fire for cooking purposes in the old days, and that smoke obviously cured uh, the Latakia. So that's why it's a very, very uh, raw tobacco taste and, and smokiness that, that goes to it. 
I've uh, smoked tobacco Latakia clean once, uh, one of my previous videos, and um, I can deal with it because I like smoking this as I like PT whiskey, but I, I do I do have to agree it is it is it is you know it's overpowering. So um, and that's why I've, in most uh, Latakia is mostly used as as you know as something that will go into a blend. Uh, and I see some people say even not not even more than 20%, but rather less than that, um, because of its high smoky content. I've also tried Perique, and I learned that Perique is a is a way of of uh, of curing your tobacco. Um, it's a burly type of tobacco, which apparently originated in the uh, Indian area. Uh, India, uh, Sri Lanka, that area, and uh, and that it got its name from the way it is cured and and uh, produced uh, by you know uh, curing it and then letting it ferment in uh, in barrels or in in those days in empty tree trunks. Um, I didn't enjoy the perique uh, which I smoked alone very full bodied and again also mainly used in, in a blend and then uh, I also learned about Kentucky but I must say other than cigarettes I don't know of many toba uh, Kentucky tobacco in blends or I maybe I, I haven't realized it but uh, Kentucky apparently is close to blend, to burly tobacco um, but uh, that the nicotine con content is a bit higher and uh, therefore not you know not that uh, uh, fashionable or uh, light as 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 a blending um, and then there's also other flavoring tobaccos from uh, the middle east which i surely would would love to see more um, you know for some reason i don't know why apart from latakia and maybe parik the the Turkish and uh, Middle East and uh, type of tobaccos are are very scarce, um, difficult to find. And then Cavendish, as I told you in my previous video of my visit to a tobacconist, um, the Cavendish is indeed not a, a a tobacco as such, but more a method of treating a tobacco. So what I've learned is that Cavendish. Is uh, got his name from the first guy who did this, and that they were dark, uh, fire cured, though therefore it's very dark, uh, and then they were also steamed um, to to get that uh, that to, you know and to ferment a, a few days, and then that gives that uh, that very uh, similar or um, distinguished Cavendish taste. Um, Apparently, Cavendish, very, very popular and very fine uh, tobacco, um, often used of either Virginia or Bali or sometimes uh, both of them. Um, yeah, so Cavendish more the process of, of, being, uh, of being used. And lately, the, uh, the English Cavendish is, is very nice. Uh, lately, more of the Cavendish is being, uh, is being used. Uh, for for uh, aromatic uh, additions. So yeah, what I've also learned from um, my tobacco farmer friend is the different uh, type of of curing methods. Um, one curing method would be to just uh, lay your your you know uh, uh, reap your your leaves and and then put them in the sun or let them cured be cured in the sun. Um, I, as far as I know, it, it will dry very, very quickly, so the more humid, the better, obviously, the humid conditions in, in the area that you live, live in or where they form that. Um, and that also some, you know, that, that there's a specific tobacco that, that will be sun cured. Uh, the other effort method will be uh, bo cool, dry area, barn cured, um, something like that, and then fire cured. Uh, and I also um, learned about uh, uh, um, uh, dark, uh, yeah, air cured. That's right. The other one is air cured, where 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 it's been um, 
exposed or, uh, or sheltered from sunlight and then uh, cured by, by uh, drying air that's been um, blown you know, through and over the tobacco leaves. The other thing that I also learned from, from him was that um, uh, the strength of nicotine and sugar content may often differ from the leaves. Um, and I hope I'm correct, but the lower leaves will have uh, less sugar content but higher nicotine content, or vice versa, I'm not sure anymore. But in any case, let's say you know the, the, the lower leaves will have some a balance ratio between uh, content, uh, sugar and, and nicotine, while the upper leaves will have a different content, um, and that also makes a difference on on which you know where when you when you reap uh, your your leaves or cut your leaves and and uh, uh, and and where they were on the tobacco plant. plant. So yeah, those kind of things, um, and uh, correctly so. One of my uh, one of I need to to make a shout out to Blackie Man, the guy who made a very good comment on uh, on blending and tobaccos on my Pipe Smokers Forum uh, uh, thread. Uh, so please, I'll leave the link again down here. Go and, go and have a look at what he said. But um, I think one thing that he made me aware of is that although some people would want to make tobacco blending and tobacco farming and growing your own leaves a very, very scientific uh, uh, rocket science uh, method it shouldn't be it you know if you think of of the old days and and maybe our forefathers uh, they planted a you know a tobacco plant and they reaped the leaves and smoked it and and enjoyed it so um, on the one hand I kind of understand the scientific method and and need from for, from some uh, for that very scientific way and rocket science way, but on the other hand, you know, we shouldn't make it that that difficult. I mean, um, it still need to be fun and you know something that that we enjoy. So, so maybe we must find a balance between the two. Um, yeah. So on that note, before the sun is shining in my eyes and uh, you you won't be able to see clearer, um, I'm going to greet you with my church warden uh, and my glass of red wine. And actually, I have to go and prepare the, the fillet for our uh, dinner, a lunch, um, supper, <laughs> whatever. I'll have to go and prepare the, the fillet. Um, so I will see you later, and we're going to have a very, very nice uh uh, supper after after this. Uh, enjoy your day, and uh, may God bless you all during this uh, this wonderful day that we are celebrating today. And uh, pipe on and enjoy. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.